Well, in early 89, Dokken ended up breaking up. And, uh, you know, I, I could go on, I could take the whole interview about that, but uh, basically it was egos, drugs, money, you know, those, the usual things got in the way. And so we broke up in early 89, um, which then led to me very quickly getting sober. I've been sober since March 3rd of 1989. Um, oh, and, uh, yeah, it was, you know, kind of a wake-up call, a little reality hitting you. And was yeah. that like booze and drugs or both? Yes, Just a bit both, of both to great excess. Um, and uh, I was a really good alcoholic. <laughs> Did you have, do you have fond memories of that time of lots of booze? Well, sure. I mean, there was a lot of fun involved. Um, but then it got to be not so fun, got to yeah. be very paranoid and... I mean, I was the type that would do a lot of cocaine all by myself in a room. Scarface. You know, yeah, Scarface alone, you know. <laughs> and instead of the gun, I had a guitar, but that didn't make me any less paranoid. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. you know, not a good thing. <laughs> um, but uh, so I sobered up. Um, I had my own bands for a couple of years, um, and, and I kind of coasted doing that. Um, I had a band called War and Peace that I worked very hard at, but it was just the wrong time in the music business for it. It was a melodic rock band in the early 90s. As the yeah, whole yeah. grunge thing happens, it was like the worst timing possible.